I'm George. This is Bruce. This is Mark here. We're here to recreate three shots in Dallas as closely as we can to try to, de uh, to, try to determine whether you can actually pull off three sided shots. The target's moving at eight miles per hour and, um, and it's moving away from you uh, using a Manlik Air Car Chrono. One of the things that we're doing a little bit differently today is that um, we know that the uh, minimum shot couldn't have been any any uh, earlier than 25 meters because the shooter was obstructed by trees, and it couldn't be greater than 100 meters away because uh, there was the there was the overpass. Uh, based on the shots on and the frame and the frame count on the Sapruder film, we we're able to calculate the the ranges at uh, at uh, 50 yards, roughly 63 to 65 yards, and and about to 85 yards is where the uh, third shot was. Now what we're using today is our Carcano uh, carbine instead of the Carcano long rifle, and uh, the difference between and the, the difference between the two is is a very slight. The only difference between the 780 millimeter barrel and this 445 millimeter barrel is um, is about uh, 100 feet per second bullet speed. So they're both less than one inch drop in 100 yards. So this is more than adequate for our test. We also know that the shooter used a 4x18 optical sight that was offset from the barrel. We're using today a 4x20 sight, which shows us a difference between 6 to 7 meters on a field of view at, uh, at, at uh, 70 meters. So uh, that, that should make a difference. We don't know if the shooter used uh, the V-notch sights to shoot with because of the offsite or whether he stuck with the, the uh, scope. So we're going to try it both ways. So. Uh, we're going to use the uh, round nose 6.5 millimeter Carcano, and, uh, which is exactly what the shooter had used. the setup. First marker, 50 yards. Marker at uh, control at 80, 85 yards. I can't get it. I can't even get it to go into the into the site. It's all right. Yeah. That's the point of this experiment. Oh, shit. Only one hit on the board, but none on the silhouette. I think it's pretty clear that even using iron or the scope sights, and of course the, the one shot that was actually hit the board was done with the iron sights. I think we could safely say, based on the data here, is that the Carcano is uh, prone to jamming. And even though you may be able to cycle through three shots in nine seconds, the ability to do it accurately is, is, is uh, pretty much in question.
we're not able to get to any any on the silhouette, and that's both iron and with iron sights and with the scope.